Hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the next great building in the series, and that is the Capitol. Uh, this is actually the U.S. Capitol. They just call it the Capitol. So uh, here's a picture. You can kind of see what it looks like. Pretty cool. Not sure if this uh, all this greenery in the front is artist interpretation or if that's uh, similar on the real building. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at a picture later on. Um, I don't pay that close of attention to what the Capitol building looks like and I, I'm here in the U.S. So here it is. Um, it offers a couple things. One is population. The other one are supplies and we'll talk about those in just a second but here's a picture of it. It's an industrial age building. Here it is in the wild kind of nestled amongst some other great buildings. And let's go over to the uh, wiki and take a look, uh, learn some more about it. Uh, again, I just want to give credit to forgevampires.phantom.com. This is their wiki, and it's a good resource. I've got no affiliation. I'm going to put a link down below uh, to go uh, check this out as well. I should do that to all my videos. I think I will. So uh, I'm surprised I'm just thinking about that now. But either way, I'm going to put a link out there because it's a cool resource, and they do, it does, they do a great job there, and it's really helpful. So it's an industrial age building. It is the capital. Um, construction costs are 400, 240, 180, 180, 500. Uh, most expensive things are going to be rubber and uh, fertilizer, uh, manure, interestingly enough, uh, <laughs> coming out of the Capitol building. Um, size is a 7x5, not quite as big as a deal castle, but not too far off. Um, so, I'm talking about 35 square. Uh, at least it gives you the 5 so that you can be a little more conservative on the road if you do specific road placement because the road is required to connect to it. It's just a regular road. Um, the production properties of this building is you get some production bonus, you get some supplies, you get a daily collect on supplies uh, once a day. At level one you get 3,900 supplies and you get a passive bonus of population, continuous population, um, which is the double-edged sword. One is you get your population, the other side of that is you need to have some happiness to support that population. So it's something to keep in mind, but it's very helpful, especially if you're at your industrial age, you're trying to add some big military buildings and they got high cost for uh, for population to build. Um, this is a nice easy way to pick up big chunks of population and uh, they're non-plunderable um, as far as the supplies are non-plunderable. Um, you get some decent population. Populations grow pretty quickly as you go up through the levels. Um, let's just jump, take a look at level level 10 as an example. Um, for 790 to get to level from 9 to 10, 790 forge points, you get 10,000, you're up to 10,530 population, which is pretty substantial. Um, then again, you're going to need some happiness to offset that. And then you get 301 population per square, if I'm doing my math correctly here. So that's pretty impressive in the big picture. And then you're getting 15,800 supplies. Um, so that is what it is. Uh, this is a building I don't usually build. I do have this one built in this world. I believe I did it for the population. I think I needed the population to place some military buildings or to, you know, it's like, Grow your population by whatever for some quest or, you know, some uh, seasonal event or something like that. And that's probably why I did it. Um, it's a quick, easy way to jump up. Like here, you look at this jump here. You can pick up 400 something for, what, 20 FPs going from 10 to 11. Um, but uh, so that's it. That's all I got to say about the capital. Do you have a capital? Would you build it? Um, I'm really, frankly, I'm surprised I have one, but I built it for some reason. Maybe I was, I'm pretty sure it had to do with the military or. Uh, something else. So, But that's all I've got on this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them below. Um, if you're liking what you're seeing, you know, please consider subscribing. Um, it helps other people find the videos and, and have an opportunity to learn. Thanks. Take care.